Going out there, first of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Ridge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Game. And I'm going to tell you something. <clears throat> Sorry about that. This is the truth. Anyone who says that calibrating your projector expands the lifetime on your projector has lied to you. And I'll tell you why. Because calibrating your projector has nothing to do with um, with the life expansion of your projector. Now, adjusting the color, adding, advancing the color, yes, that it can do that. Yeah, advancing the color, um, um, giving you better color balance and all that. Yes, your 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 reds, your blues, your greens, uh, your 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 blacks, your whites, you know, all that. Yes, that's what calibrating the projector is for. But as for expanding the life of your projector, it has nothing to do with your lamp, has nothing to do with the fan, has nothing to do with anything in your projector, except for just adjusting the color balance on your projector. That's it. Now, let me show you what you may have to do if it comes to this. Now, all projectors, not some, well, not all of them, I have a Casio projector over there, which is lamp free, so I'll never have to go through this because um, I never have to change a lamp. It's a bulbless projector. But just in case, if you do have a projector that has a lamp such as this, uh, one of the things I warn people about is before you go out and drop all this money on this really high tech projector, please check out how much the lamps are gonna cost you first. Because you can easily spend three, four hundred dollars, even five hundred, even more for a lamp for your projector if something were to go wrong and your lamp were to blow out or basically become dim. Mine hasn't blown. I've actually blew a few projectors. That, um, sorry, my VenQ MS500, I literally blew that thing where it sounded like, sound like a shotgun went off behind me. But my projector right here, I had this for about two years. And don't get me wrong, your projector's not gonna burn out in two years. I'm very, very, very hard on my projectors. I use these for work 24 seven. I use them for entertainment, so I burn them nonstop. I've actually literally left a few of these on by accident. So I'm very hard on my projectors. I should know, because I beat the crap out of my stuff. But anyway, uh, it's very easy to um, uh, change all this out. Now mine became dim at 32%. I noticed the screen was getting very dim, very dark, and that, that's an indication telling me that it's time to change the lamp. Some projectors will have an icon that pops up and tells you, you know, your, run, your, your, um, your lamp life is running a little low, you might have to change it. Also, too, it's not that difficult to change the lamp. Now I prefer to get it with the housing because it's easier for me to install in. Now, depending on where your compartment is at, my compartment is actually over top. Some is at, some of them, a majority of most of them, I think, are at the top. All the ones I've seen are at the top. So here it is. You take your lamp right here. This is your this is the housing. So first of all, this is the lamp right here, and this is the housing. Now, whatever you do, do not touch that at all. Period. Because that little you smear that, that's going to show up on your screen. So don't touch that. And pretty much this is all you got to do. So you got one screw here, and you got another support screw here. You just put it in there just like so. This is the old one. I had to order another one. And you just drop the screws in. Do do done. You take your panel, put it over top like this. Well, actually, I'll make sure it clicks in there first. There you go. Make sure it goes in. Well, it might not because I don't have it screwed all the way down, so it might be rise up a little bit. But yeah, you put your panel in like so, and that's it. And then there's a little screw. Some of them have screws. Some of them lock in, depending on how you have it set up, how your projector is set up by the manufacturer. And that's it. This is all you have to do to change the lamp. See this? See the two sides right here? Here and here. Boom. That's it. That's all you got to do. There's your little compartment back there. So that's very easy. That's another way, you know what I mean, you can fix and maintenance your projector without sending it back and it costs you an arm and leg to do so if your lamp becomes dull. I always say, look, if you buy a projector, buy extra bulbs just in case or extra lamps just in case, I always do. Or this time I didn't. I, that's why I had to order one. It'll be here on Saturday and I'll do a demonstration showing you me installing it in, turning it on and watching a movie off of it. All right, so. Another thing too is your filters because you'll get an icon saying, hey, guess what? Your filters are dirty. You got to clean them. Doesn't make a difference if your projector is not on the floor. Even if you have it up in the ceiling, dust travels everywhere. So this one, you'll have little, I have a little, little latch at the bottom right there. All right. So there's my latch. There's two latches right here at the bottom. There's my latch and then there's my filter. So I just this and pull my filter out. So this is my filter right here. So cleaning the filter will expand the life of your projector because it won't overheat and it won't burn out on you because you need air to circulate through your projector. So this is the filter right here. Now some of them have a little felt, a bit of a felt filter, but you can actually put a little water on them 
and scrub them down lightly with a toothbrush. If not, just run some water off of it. Or just take a sock. I just took a sock and just peel, um, peeled it off. It reminds me of the um, the lint the lint trap and the dryer. That's what it reminds me of. And you just put it back in. There you go. They go in pretty easy. Oh, I'm gonna make sure I got it this way first. You gotta make sure this hooks up first. That way. And then you snap it in. Boom. Done. That's it. So you clean your filters. So bottom line is, don't don't have to worry. Every five minutes, you don't. Every half an hour, you're scared that your filters are gonna fill up. No, it takes a while for these things to fill up, and your projector will let you know when you need to clean your filter. Little icon will pop up and says, "Hey, clean your filters," and that's when you clean your filters. That's basically about it. But uh, another thing too, also too, eco mode. Eco mode is another way too. You can actually expand the life of your lamp or your projector. You know what I mean? So there's there's there's, there's three ways. Eco mode. Or basically, like I said, if you have to change out the bulb, you can do it that way. I usually change my bulb out. But 32%, I always change my bulb out. That's up to you. If you have an eco mode, it's the less time you have to change it out. And the filters. So that's basically about it. Now, some people are worried if I get a projector, it's going to burn out. Like if I burn it, it's going to burn out like in six days or not six days. Sorry about that. <laughs> like two months or so. No, trust me. This is coming from someone who burns his projectors 24-7 and beats the crap out of them. I do the stuff that everybody else does not do that are to their projectors. I've had projectors last me. This one lasts me two years. I've had them for three years. I've had some even for four years. Depending on how you basically take care of your projectors. Now, I burn mine 24-7. As you can see, I burn mine. All my videos, I burn mine 24-7. Um, and my projectors last two years. And this is with out the so-called, I don't know, nonsense calibration that it basically is supposed to cause your projector to last long. I don't know where someone got that one from. But no, I burn mine not even on eco mode. I burn mine constantly 24 7. So if my projector is lasting at two and three years and me burning them 24 7, that should tell you right there, you yourself will probably never, you know, burn your projector like that. Your projector lasts for four or five years easily. So I'm hard on mine. So I expect mine to burn out. All right. So once the part comes in, I'm going to install it in, watch a movie off it so you guys can see it. Now let's go over here and check out the Immerse. There's my Immerse 4K cinema screen. Now this right here is the 100 inch uh, 1610 flat panel screen. Let's go around and show you that it's my flat panel screen right there. All right, now my projector over here, which is pretty cool, this is a Casio. Now, the Casio projector is lamp free. There is no lamp in this projector whatsoever. There is no filters on this projector whatsoever. And you know why? because this thing can never burn out. It can never go dim, it can never burn out, nothing, because there's no bulb inside of it. This is a, a DLP uh, laser and LED hybrid projector and it can never burn out. Now my projector is sitting 11 feet from my wall and uh, in order for me to get a 100 inch screen, I have, to be about, I have to be about 11 feet back to get the 100 inch screen. Now with the giant screen I have here, which is gonna be 190 inch, I'm actually going to be doing some tweaking on the screen. I'm going to be expanding and adding some upgrades to it. But in order for me to actually get the 190 inch, especially with the short amount of room I have in my environment or in my room, I have to use a short throw. So that's why I'm over there working on the short throw as we speak. Uh, one of the problems I have with the short throw and the reason why I stopped using it is because it became very dim. And I just went in, cleaned my filters, and uh, just uh, got the replacement bulb and I was done. Now, Hold on for a minute. I know this screen is amazing. I'm sorry. I'm just really freaking loving this screen. And I love the fact that I don't have to be in a dark or a dim environment to enjoy the screen. It looks absolutely incredible. And that's what you want. You want the best picture possible. You want a picture that looks just like a TV. Hold on for a minute. I gotta show you this. So it's not sunny outside, but we got some light that'll come in through the window. A little brightness here. I'm just got my screen. Look how beautiful that looks. That looks amazing. Can you imagine that on 190 inches? It's gonna look sick. Wow, I'm telling you, beautiful screen, very, very beautiful screen. All right, so let's, um, let me explain something to you really quick, which I forgot to add into the video. Uh, for those of you that are curious, thinking, okay, so what, what is, how do I order the make and model of my lamp? Easy. On your projector, you have your model number, which you have here, which is the M300XS. You Google this in, just put in projector uh, NEC, and mine would be projector NEC uh, M300XS, and I put down lamp, all right? And automatically, it'll bring up the cost of the lamp. Also, too, you will have, if you pull your panel off, you on the top of it, you will have your model number, which mine is the MP1, 
sorry, MP, MP16 LP, and all I would have to do is look that up, and I can just basically buy the lamp from there. But like I said, before you go out and buy these high-end projectors, please check and see how much would it cost you for the lamp. Because I've seen people on eBay with a projector that is insanely, insanely, has insanely amazing specs on it. And they're selling it for really cheap, really, really cheap. And then it says at the bottom, they don't have a lamp with it. You know why? Because they bought the projector and they found out that when the lamp finally did blow on it, or something happened, you know what I mean, the projector and the lamp blew out on them. And they had to replace it. Um, they found out that the lamp cost them more than probably what the projector cost. Or pretty much probably for the price of the lamp, just buy another projector. So, you know, that's why you see some of them on eBay uh, saying that, hey, look, um, you know, I had this projector that I paid about maybe six grand for, and I'm selling it to you for the low price of $250. And you're like, okay, good deal. And then you find out that the lamp probably will cost you around eight or nine hundred dollars. You're like, man, for that part, you know, for that much, you can just buy another projector, you know. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Look at the size of that lens. Yeah, that's that's a short though lens. That's why I need it. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for watching. Just helping you out there and let you know that no calibrating your projector has nothing to do with your projector's lifespan whatsoever. Like I said, just cleaning your filters. When the icon, icon comes up to tell you to clean your filters, keep your filters clean. Um, keep the lens cap on. I really should have my lens cap on here. I don't even know where it's at. And uh, like I said, I abuse my projectors. And like I said, if you have to and your projector gets a little dull, usually they get dull around 32. Mine got dull around 32. Some of them around 20, 19, or get around that point under 30. That's when you want to go in and basically change it. You'll notice because the screen either will flicker a little bit or basically you'll get like a really dull look to your screen. You'll, you know, you'll, you'll know, you'll know. You know, just like a light bulb. When a light bulb is about to blow, it gets really dim. So it reacts the same way. So like I said, if you get it, you know, the best way to do it is to get it with the housing. Um, the housing just allows you to just add it in so much easier. But if you're, more, you're a little bit more handy with your hands, you know, you know you're, you're good with tech, then, you know, just uh, go out and get the lamp. Sometimes the lamp comes out cheaper. You know, the housing would just charge you more, you know, or just use your original housing, which, which you probably be doing anyway because you wouldn't have the housing to begin with. But whatever you do, do not touch the front of this at all costs because you will jack it up big time. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Screens, using smart technology gain. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Look at this, in the dining room, man, in the dining room. Look how beautiful that screen looks. All right, you all have a good one.